What's up guys and welcome back to some more Medieval Dynasty. Look at it out here, dude. It is a pouring snow right now. This is our first ever winter storm that we've experienced and uh, not gonna lie, it's coming at a bit of an inopportune time, but uh, we're just gonna have to push through it and hopefully we don't end up freezing. So you guys can see it is currently 6.13 a.m. and uh, we are gonna be venturing off further than we ever have before. Basically, our main objective today is to make it all the way down to the southern settlements down here. We've got Jezrica and Hornica. We're gonna go down there and we're gonna see if we can recruit some people back to our village. Obviously, that's a, a major thing for us. I, I believe we have quite a bit of space for people to be able to move in. You guys can see we have a, a slot there, slot there, slot there, two slots there, and four slots there. We did just build this uh, this second like major simple house. So uh, we, we've got some openings and we want to invite people back just to continue working, to continue, you know, getting the jobs done and, and doing our thing. So we're gonna take off. We're gonna see what kind of trouble we can get into. Hopefully it goes well. I am a little bit nervous about the uh, the whole snowing thing because I believe that could potentially give us issues with our um, our temperature. Although I, I think we've upgraded our character a little bit in terms of temp, so I think he might be able to handle slightly colder situations. But we just we don't we don't really have the clothes that we need right now. Currently we have um, we've got a fur hood, fur boots, hose, and a shirt. I would imagine just wearing a hose out here would not be very comfortable, but um, to each their own. So we're gonna go ahead and go. Looks like we want to, uh, we're gonna wanna go all the way to Vinica. We're gonna bang a left. We're gonna come down here to Jezrica. We're gonna go back up. We're gonna go through the mountains, which is a little bit perilous. Don't know if we're gonna find any bears or anything out there. And we're gonna come across through here to Hornica and then maybe make our way back down through and go back to Gustavia. I've actually, I've got, a bit of a, a bit of a nice kind of, not cheat code, but a bit of a strategy when it involves coming back home that I'll have to show you guys in case you guys are, are playing along uh, at, uh, at, at your own homes. So anyway, we're just going to take off. We're just going to run here. I'm hoping early morning, we're not going to run into too many animals. I do see a little, little rabbit running along down there. I think that the main thing we have to worry about, we might run into a couple of boar out here. But really, it's it's mainly the grizzlies. And I did uh, I added we've got four wooden spears. If we if we run into a bear, that's not good. Like I, we may end up dying. I don't even know what happens if you die in this game. But um, let's let's just hope that that is not the case. Let's hope. Oh my goodness, dude! Every little piece of movement scares me. What was that? A rabbit? Okay. Just keep it together, Trev. We're gonna be fine. Going through the woods like this is is definitely not very fun. Just a little bit nerve-wracking. We do have uh, plenty of meat and gravies. I've even got water skins here, so we do have portable water. What the fudge, dude. I I'm so jumpy right now. But yeah, we we've got, you know, food. We've got water. We really shouldn't have to worry about much. Hopefully, we can just get to our objectives. No questions asked. Just, just get it done, you know what I mean? So where do we want to go from here? We pretty much want to go straight. All right. Let's go straight. We're gonna go get up into these mountains and hopefully avoid any bears. I legitimately, like, I I don't even know what I would do if I saw a bear. That's what's what's so scary. Like, I, I mean, in real life, you would hope you would have some bear spray or something with you. You know, ev even a, a pretty high caliber weapon isn't necessarily gonna be a good option. You want something you can just kind of spray in the air and, and hopefully try to try to get them off of you. If a, a bear's running you down, I would imagine you're not gonna be that, that straight of a shot. Even in this video game, I probably wouldn't be. Are we going the right way? Yep, we just want to keep on going. Um, I, I think I think you're supposed to just try to make as much noise as possible. Like when you're walking through trails like this, you're just supposed to, you know, you hope to be in a, a group of like, you know, three to four people. You're talking, you're hooting and hollering, singing, clapping, whatever else. Obviously, you, you just kind of do as, as much as you want to. Do we want to take a right or a left here? We want to end up taking a, a left to go to Jezrica. Look at this. We've got it on the sign. But, uh, oh. Ah! What was that? Whoa! Oh, God! Okay! We're good, Trev! Holy mother of... What? Ah, okay. That was not an overreaction. At all. Yeah, that, that's... Uh, that's typically what happens. I just spammed all my buttons on my keyboard. I, I took our... our our torch out and I think that actually saved us there. I, I think that actually scared the wolf off a bit. 
Holy cow. I saw the one wolf off in the trees, and then all of a sudden we had a wolf on us, and it, it just, it, it kind of, it, it kind of freaked us out a bit. That rabbit better not look at me. But yeah, I, I think typically you'd want to make a lot of noise like I just did right there. That was just giving you guys an example of what you would want to do. Just, you know, scream bloody murder as you're walking through the woods. If you come up, oh, what is that? That's a deer. We're good. If you come upon a bear, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to to kind of just stand your ground. Definitely don't turn and run away. Uh, you know, especially if, if it's like a grizzly, like there's no way you're gonna outrun that. You can't even climb trees. They're they're gonna you know. Ooh, we just caused a, a stampede. They're they're gonna get you before you get up a tree, unless you're able to really climb super super quickly. So I think you're supposed to stand your ground and just kind of try to puff yourself up, group together, look like this big, big scary thing. Looks like we would have keep going straight. We're almost there. Dude, this thing is way off in the bo the boonies. A little bit, I keep seeing these big rocks and I get a little bit scared. But yeah, you do that and then if they come at you, you're supposed to just play dead. You're supposed to just lay down, don't move, don't make a sound. Hopefully they go by you, they might bat you around a little bit, but you're just supposed to kind of take it easy and uh, and hopefully they get bored of you. They, they, they like the chase, you know what I mean? So you, you don't want to give them a chase. But uh, we'll, we'll see if I can follow my own my own advice here. My goodness, my heart is still racing. So we made it. It is currently 8.55 a.m. So we made some pretty good time. Now, one of you guys left in the comments a very useful thing. I do want to check all the shopkeepers. Let me see what you got here. Show me your wares. She's going to have apples, cherries. Okay, so she must be the... Um, the, the uh, like food place, I forget what it's called, the tavern. Uh, if you see a person, like up on the compass, up on the very top, that's somebody who can be recruited. So if we take a look at Choraman here, he can be recruited. So we're currently at 50%. I'm gonna have to talk to him, and if we could get two plus tens back to back, we're gonna be able to invite him back. I'm gonna ask him, uh, I'm gonna ask him about hunting. That's a plus five. I'm gonna say, let's talk about the field. That's a plus two. And that's all he's gonna want to talk to us right now. If we go with our alt thing here, we're gonna be able to see, dude, he is legit. Like actually really legit. Oh my goodness, dude. I I might I might try to reload and oh dude, we stink. That's the problem. I think he doesn't really want to talk to us because we stink. I'm gonna reload here. I'm gonna go take a bath. We're gonna chop down a tree and make a bath. And then we're gonna try talking to him again. So we've got to get slightly out of the town Otherwise, it won't let you place a bath unless it's your own town. So I'm gonna come out here We're gonna chop down this pine tree out here and man I, I wouldn't want to talk to a stinky, you know guy from the other side of the world either If he's coming in looking like a hot mess sweaty smells that sort of thing. He's not from around this part of town I'm, uh, I'm definitely I'm definitely not into that. So we're gonna craft or we need uh, other Furniture's wash tub Terrain is too uneven of course So we're gonna have to run up to the top of the mountain and find a flat spot to place this thing. Come on, dude. This this is This is about as even as we're gonna get. Are you kidding me? I guess maybe up on top of this I feel like there's gonna be a bear or something stupid up here Terrain is too uneven dude. This is ridiculous. I'm just trying to take a bath. There it is. All right, now we can take a bath. We're gonna go back. We're gonna try talking to him. Look at this view, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness! It just started snowing again, too, dude. That is that is ridiculous. This is awesome. This is a really cool part of town. We also let me check our map here. Oh, there's nobody. We did have a side mission here in Jezrica not too long ago, but it, it looks like it disappeared. I think they'll disappear if you don't pick them up quick enough. So it would have been it would have been nice to uh, nice to try to try to be able to talk to somebody. I'm trying to keep an eye on the time because we want to make sure we have enough time to get back over to the other side too and, and try to talk to those people. But hopefully we could have a little luck here. We just we need the right things to be able to say that we get two plus tens. So we go to 60%, then 70%, then we can invite him back. Okay, so I feel kind of bad about this, but uh, I had to reload it probably 10, 15 times to try different combinations. We eventually found one that got him all the way up to 70%. So I'm going to say I'm creating a new settlement. Sounds great. What I was looking for with pleasure. So Charo Man is now the newest member of T. Martin Village. And uh, my guy, you've got a very long and scary walk ahead of you. He's just, yeah, I mean, he's hes kind of a badass. He's literally just gonna walk straight across all the way back 
right through the mountains and everything. So, uh, good luck, soldier. I'll see you on the other side. I do feel a little bit bad about, you know, I wouldn't say that was cheating, but I, I do feel like we kind of, you know, gamed that a little bit there. The thing is, is like, in the interest of the series, it makes sense to get as many people as we can as quickly as we can. I don't want to be running all the way back down here multiple times to try to court this new friend to be able to come back and, and you know, work with us. If we can get as many people as we can this winter, we're going to be good to go moving into the spring and stuff like that. And he is now by far our best villager. So now we are going to head up the mountain here. We are going to be going through past this lake through to Hornica. We're going to see what kind of challenges await us there. Hopefully we've got some nice people that want to come join us and you don't need to sit. What the fudge, dude? Okay. Let me go ahead and, uh, Hadouken! Shoot, I, I didn't think this through because he's, he's now going to run and we're not going to, I don't think we're going to be able to get him. To be completely honest, I feel like it's in our best interest to, uh, to, Oh my god, there he is. Is that him? Does he have the thing sticking out? Oh, he does. Oh, he's he's upset. He's upset. We might try to track him down. Because we need as many of these spears as we can get to be able to kill a bear. Yeah, he's gone, dude. What is... Oh, I thought that was like bear poop or something. It was just a big rock. Um, we, we just gotta keep on going, dude. We, we don't have a ton of daylight. We want to make sure that we get to this next town before it's nightfall and people start going in for the night. Oh my god, that's a bison. Okay, we're good. Or a wisent, I guess you could call it. I don't know what that guy's doing out here, but he is. We just gotta keep on going. Dude, I just don't... I just don't want to run into a bear. I don't really want to run into wolves. Those are rabbits. This is not sketchy at all. What do you guys think the best route is? I guess we should probably go around the right side of this lake. I'm nervous. I'm just a little bit nervous. Gotta be careful. I'm watching all of these. Do you remember last time when we were on the hunt and we were hoping to be able to find a bear? Now I'm hoping for anything but. Seeing lots of deer around here. We got a nice little stream. Guess we could take a little drink here. We. Oh my gosh. You guys just stay with me and scare off any bear, please. I would imagine a bear would probably be attracted to them, though. We're, we're, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be okay. We're, we're almost there. We just gotta get to the other side of these mountains over here, right here in front of us. But, um, yeah, things, uh, things are going well as long as we don't run into one of these guys. And this is a nice wide open area, so it looks like we might be safe. One thing we should probably check on is our field. Let me make sure interesting so it looks like our people are not working on our field while we're gone if we turn a blind eye they're just gonna slack off and not work i do i, I remember somebody in the comments telling me that you've got to be like within the close radius of your town for them to be able to work so that's a little unfortunate the boss leaves production shuts down but that's all right hopefully we're going to come up over this ridge we're going to be able to see this little town off in the distance. Dude, they are ready for war. My goodness, they've got the giant wooden walls around the entire thing. Okay. I guess that's smart. Looks like we've got a side mission we can pick up over here as well. Got a fox off in the distance over there. And here we go, dude. I'm excited. And we've got somebody we could potentially recruit. So, this is going to work out well. I'm going to go see what this side mission wants here. Although, to be honest... If it's something we have to go really far away and then bring something back, I'm going to be upset. Can I help you with something? You look like a reliable fighter. Could you please help us? What's going on? What's the problem? At night, we hear horrible howls and can barely sleep. Sorry, I've got no time. I'm not going to come back here and fight wolves at night. That is just straight up not going to happen. Now, I do want to check the wares on some of these. Where's he at? He must be inside this building. Yeah. I want to check the wares on some of these shopkeepers just to see if they've got anything interesting. Hood, bag, flax, nothing nothing really too interesting there. I'm going to go back over here and see what's going on. This is just going to be our, uh, yeah, that's, that's our, our tavern, so nothing too exciting there. Looks like this is going to be the person, this person by the fire we could potentially invite back. 
he's pretty solid as well. Got into hunting, that's gonna give us a plus five. Uh, working non-stop, that's gonna give us a plus zero. Seen the noble, that's gonna give us a negative. All right, so I, I think we're gonna reload this. I'm sorry, I know I'm kind of cheesing it a bit, but we, we really need more villagers. Oh, uh, Manamir, you are such a tough cookie to crumble, dude. My goodness, he doesn't like talking about anything. Even asking him about his day makes him mad and he'll, he'll get upset at you. The only thing he wanted to talk about was hunting and we'd only do it twice. So we got him up to 60% here. And now he's he's done chatting. So we're we are gonna have to come back for him, which is unfortunate, but I guess that's our right. So it's 222 p.m. It is getting a little bit later in the day. You guys can see we do have a few objectives over here in Gustavia, though, as well as Barowo. And uh, watch this. So this is a nice little tip that I learned. If you go in here, and I think you need to go, I think you need to go to this screen, you can hit unstuck and look at where we are right now. We're all the way down here in Hornica. We're gonna go hit unstuck and it spawns you back in in the very start of the game. So now we could just go straight down this path like we did originally and we're gonna be able to get to Gustavia. We traveled like half of the map like that. And honestly, now that I think about it, when we're here and we wanna travel back to Horn or Hornica tomorrow to be able to talk to him, we can just unstuck it to here and then walk down this road. So that's pretty exciting. Nice little pro tip for you guys out there. I'm a little bit upset that we weren't able to get him there, but if we are able to get him tomorrow, then uh, I guess I guess all is well that ends well. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to talk to a few people. If we get any interesting missions, I'll let you guys know. I don't think we have any people we can recruit down here. I don't know if they respawn or what, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'll update you guys as, uh, as you know, situations occur. It looks like we actually do have somebody next to the fire, so that's exciting. And um, we, we might be all right after all. Looks like Robert here wants three stone axes, and in return, he is going to end up giving us 15 dynasty rep and 250 XP to our crafting. I mean, that's, that's not bad. That's not fantastic, but we can get it done. The thing is, these side missions, I mean, I don't I don't think we really need them right now. Uh, I, I think, you know, occasionally it might make sense if, if our main mission is to do more side missions, but I think we're kind of at the point where we obviously don't need the money anymore, and it, this is probably wasting more time than it's worth. We should probably get back to the farm and, and, you know, keep an eye on our workers and make sure they get everything planted before winter is over, but... Um, We'll finish up this one and then try to go talk to the person next to the fire. Looks like our guy Roberts enjoyed himself a nice little meal. There you go, my guy. You got three axes there. That's going to be a quest complete. And, oh, we've got two people here. We've got Hermenegilda and Prywit. So let's take a look at what they have. One, two, 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 two. Three, two. Oh. Wow, she's actually really good. Okay, so I was gonna say I don't understand this game because sometimes you ask somebody how they're doing and they get upset. But let me see here, is she into farming? She's into farming, interesting. Every time I told her that I just got back from the field, which, you know, that's that's a three for her. That's one of her more solid attributes. She was into that. So I didn't even think about that, but you should say things that the people are good at. We've got her up to 70% here. See if you want to join me. Sounds exactly like sh what she wants. And bam, look at that, baby. We have moved on to chapter number nine. The dynasty continues. We need to get an heir and we need to get more dynasty reputation. About 472 more, which means we are going to have to do some more of those side missions. So looking pretty good, dude. I'm, I'm feeling good about it. We now have 10 people under our belts. 10 workers to be able to do whatever we need whenever we need it. So we're definitely going to have to go back. I'm going to have to reallocate all of our workforce to make sure they're working on things that actually make sense for them that, you know, kind of take advantage of their, um, their, their, you know, talents and skills and what they like to do. So we're, we're going to get back here. Hopefully now that we're in town, let me take a look at our fields. Uh, let me take a look at our big one. Looks like nobody's still working. So we gotta get back. We gotta make sure people are working. We need to make sure things are all planted and good to go for uh, for the end of winter tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow. And uh, apart from that, I would say that was pretty solid. So uh, I I'm thinking, I'm thinking this might be a pretty good place to stop it. I'm thinking tomorrow's the last day of winter, so we're just going to kind of organize things. I'm going to go back. I'm going to invite the dude from, from whatever you call it, Hornica, back. 
maybe pick up some side missions, complete some side missions and stuff like that, but nothing too serious. And uh, we're gonna get ready for the spring. We're gonna get ready to plant. We're gonna get ready to, uh, you know, get our wife to, to, you know, bear a child for us. Hopefully we get a son the first time. And uh, look at that. As soon as the boss comes back into town, everybody just happens to be working. What time is it currently? 5 16 p.m. We might want to end up grabbing a uh, grabbing a hoe grabbing a bag and planting some seeds Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching It's it's nice when your boss comes out here and works with you. You know what I mean? I, I don't I don't want people to think that I'm like, oh everybody just quit on me right here All right, I guess I guess this is on me to, to finish but that's fine I don't want people to think that I'm I'm some you know big mean boss that doesn't actually come out and help and and put his uh his heart and, and soul into all the work so i'm gonna finish this up for these guys they're gonna have the night off we're gonna reorganize our work structure let me know what you guys want to see next obviously we're gonna have to do some farming we're gonna have to set up some new fields and and get some crops in for the springtime so i mean ideally i would like to run off and start getting chickens and all kinds of stuff like that but at the same time if we actually want uh, if we if we actually want people to work we have to be here in town So maybe we'll do a little bit more, you know harvesting of trees or I have no idea I, I think we're definitely gonna try to get some animals next next time around though. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys again I'm gonna see you guys later Peace out